This video is going to be a brief introduction to gamma decay. To begin with, let's look at a little notation. I'll start with my material, my substance, my element, and I've got, that's the, going to be the X that I've just wiggled. Next to that, I'm going to write the number of nucleons and then the number of protons underneath that. It's not a fraction, it's just one number over top of another. Let's show you how it works with a helium molecule. So in helium, I have two electrons, two, two protons, and two neutrons. So I've got four nucleons in the middle, and a two of which are protons. So it's four over two helium. All right, let's move along to something that goes through gamma decay. And that'll be a radioactive or an excited state of iodine. So it's not regular iodine, it's an excited state of iodine. And what happens is that this excited state will then lose energy and give off a high energy gamma photon. So to represent that, we write this as 123 nucleons over 53 protons, I for iodine, and we put a little asterisk. And the asterisk means that it's on an excited state. In other words, it has too much energy and it's unstable. To stabilize the iodine, what it's going to do is it's going to give off a photon. And this photon is going to be in the gamma range. It's going to be a really high energy photon. This photon has so much energy, it'll go right through you. Alpha particles will stop through your clothing. Beta goes somewhere into your body. But the gamma goes right through you and, any, and other people around you. So it's a, a very high energy particle. And gammas don't have any charge. And moving, our moving photons also don't have any mass. So when I conserve mass, there's really nothing to do. It's just going to be 123. And when I conserve charge on the bottom, it's still going to be 53. So my product when I'm done, or my daughter my element, is going to be iodine. Same thing I start with, just with less energy.